and former employees looking on when Field South Mine's largest and most distinctive piece of equipment took its final bow. Gas all is clear. It went fast. I heard one pop, then I looked up, and the second one, and it was gone. I just hate to see it go. Equipment operator Randy Green ran the cross pit spreader on and off for 20 years, from its beginning in 1991 to its last day 20 years later. It was a real blast to run a piece of equipment that size. Designed to move dirt out of the immediate mining area as it helped uncover unusually deep set lignite, the equipment had reached the end of its usefulness. And it was actually uh, uniquely designed for the conditions here in the G area, Winfield South. So um, it'd be very difficult to try to find the exact same conditions elsewhere in the world. With relocation off the table, implosion became the obvious choice. Anything that you would cut with a torch that would put someone else in danger, we use explosives to make it safe, get them away from there. In all, it took less than 24 pounds of charges and roughly 20 seconds to bring down the massive machine. Very impressed how uh, everything went to plan, uh, just like clockwork. Over the next several weeks, crews will prepare all of this material for recycling. In all, roughly 2,900 tons will be reused, beginning a new chapter for the last machine of its kind in the country. So everything in the machine, the steel, the copper, brass, aluminum, uh, will be uh, recycled to be used in other products. An impressive effort made possible by a memorable machine. Part of history, our history. For Ion Luminant from Winfield South Mine, I'm Ashley Berry. Thank you.